Hey YouTube, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake here again with my good friend John Covington. How's it going, everybody? All right, so today we're going to be talking about uh, the Adobe mobile apps that were announced at Adobe Max this year. This is a long-awaited video for all of you guys, I'm sure, because I've been talking about doing it for a while in social media. So if you've been following me on Twitter uh, at twitter.com slash Roberto Blake and you've heard me talk about doing the Adobe mobile app videos, I really wanted John to be a part of this video. So uh, you know, I was just kind of waiting on when we could put that together. So without further ado, we're just going to jump into all these crazy Adobe mobile apps. Um, we got a lot of interesting apps here from the Adobe family. We have um, Illustrator Draw and Illustrator Line, which are two different vector illustration programs. And the way John explained it to me and the way we saw it when we demoed it was that Illustrator Draw is more for freehand drawing and illustration, whereas Illustrator Line is more for making uh, geometric vector artwork. So uh, that's very cool. They're very similar programs, and you can use either one to do whatever you need. Uh, Adobe Sketch is a raster-based kind of version of that that's still more uh, brush-friendly, so it's more like your um, you know digital painting kind of style thing. Um, Adobe Brush is for making custom brushes, though. Uh, so you can literally load those brushes up into your library, both for Illustrator and for uh, Photoshop, you can actually bring them back in through your Adobe library panel. So that's very cool, and that's one of the new features of Photoshop 2014 that's very different from all the older versions of Photoshop. So even though these apps are free with an Adobe account, if you have old versions of Photoshop, Photoshop CS6, CS5, the thing is you don't get to manipulate and have the mobile workflow for all this stuff. You don't get the Lightroom mobile. You don't get to bring over assets from this. You can capture shapes with um, Adobe Shape. You can capture real life objects, logos, things like that in the real world, and you can vectorize them, which you could never do before, and it does it super accurately. Um, Adobe Cooler has become Adobe Color, and you can actually um, even take the color out of photos that you have stored here and generate palettes from that, and you can save that stuff, store it, have a custom color swatch and palette so you can match up uh, branding to things that you saw in a photograph. And that's really cool, and it will be there in your Adobe Photoshop when you sign back in. So that's awesome. You have Adobe Clip for um, Premiere so that you can do some basic video editing on the go if you happen to capture something with your um, iPhone 6 or what have you. Uh, you can take that footage, it's still HD quality footage, and you can go ahead and start building out things, a timeline, set it up, tag it, uh, do metadata, and have all that stuff to go ahead and sync back to Adobe Premiere Pro when you want to do your color grading and all your major effects. So this just gives you a better overall mobile workflow to work with, and if you're using older Adobe applications, you just don't get that experience. You don't get that seamless workflow between all of your devices and the ability to really use them. You'd have to go through a bunch of manual crap to get that. And so that's why I think it's really cool about this. And I know that that's how you've been using it. Oh, yeah. Um, Photoshop Mix is more for the effects. It just takes the effects further than Photoshop Touch and Photoshop Essentials for the mobile side. So that's more for, um, especially like with doing um, the uh, iPhone photography and wanting to get the special effects, the color grading, the selfies, the, uh, yeah. the stuff you would do in Instagram, but yeah. better. Yeah, just basic, yeah, basic photo editing. Uh, and it also uses Creative Cloud uh, photo, like, as far as the effects, processing. It'll it'll send to their servers and do the processing and then send it back to the, to your iPad. So instead of um, just using the power of the iPad here, you end up getting, like, desktop-level processing for these apps on the back end through the cloud. Uh, so that's a huge deal. And I know that they're actually working on um, a Chromebook version of Photoshop right now to do the exact same thing that's going to be browser based. Yeah. So at some point we might get browser based Photoshop, not that they'll stop doing the desktop version, but imagine being able to log into any computer in the world, doesn't matter what it is, and doesn't matter how powerful it is, and you can log into a website for Photoshop, do all your effects, do all your layers, do everything you want, even save the files, export the files, and all the processing is done in the cloud, doesn't use your computer's hard drive resources, doesn't need an installed version of Photoshop and you can do your work. That's tremendous. And you're only going to be able to get that as a member of Creative Cloud. So for all you people holding out in Creative Cloud, it's getting real now. It really is. And the mobile is a huge part of that. Oh, absolutely. Especially with Lightroom. Well, aside you're... from Lightroom as a photographer, what's your favorite mobile app on the uh, Adobe Creative Cloud? You know, I am going to have to go with Adobe Sketch. I, Adobe Sketch and Adobe Illustrator Draw. Those two, like, uh, like I, I really want to get more into drawing more often on my iPad, and those two apps, I was really waiting on, on, 
on Adobe to create some really nice drawing apps, and those two are they're they're amazing. Great, and John does that with the uh, Wacom Stylus too. So make sure you're checking out our review of that product uh, when you're watching this. Annotation will be here whenever that's ready, depending on which one of these videos goes up first. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go to the uh, full video demo now. Uh, it's going to be sped up a little bit. We're going to go to a full di video demo of Adobe Draw, so just so you guys can check out the mobile workflow and how awesome this thing is. At some point, we will demo the other mobile apps. We're not going to do that in this one long video or nothing like that. We just wanted to introduce you to the Adobe mobile app family. And uh, I guess without further ado, we're going to cut to that video now. All right, so now we're back. Uh, so that's our thoughts on the Adobe Mobile stuff. I really think it's um, awesome, and I think it makes a huge difference. Um, I, unfortunately, it's only for iOS now. John, do you have any final thoughts on the Adobe Mobile stuff? Well, right now, they're all free. So I would, I mean, why not? Download them, check them out, uh, get a good feel for them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't swear to this, but I think Adobe is planning, from what I've heard, to keep them absolutely free indefinitely because they want to add creative value to uh, Adobe Creative Cloud and incentivize more membership. Adobe Creative Cloud's got over uh, 2.4 million subscribers, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken now. Uh, so that's huge. A lot of people didn't think it'd ever get past uh, 1 million. A lot of people are still hating, holding out. Adobe Creative Cloud, if you're in the United States, is uh, $50 a month. Uh, it's like almost 60 with taxes, but e no matter how you slice it, it's less than $2 a day to invest in your power as a creative service professional, and you're getting like 16 desktop apps for that, and then the whole suite of mobile apps on top of it, and they all sync together and work across your devices. Uh, I really say you can't beat it. So if you're still holding out on Adobe Creative Cloud, this is just one more reason to get it. Anyway, uh, I'm Roberto Blake. This is John Covington. Make sure you check out his website, jcub.net, mostly for his photography. Uh, you got to get on Behance, man. We got to show off your digital artwork. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, uh, we're out of here. Uh, like this video if you like it. Let us know if you have any questions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to share the video, subscribe. As always, you guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today. <laughs>